Good evening, Ileana. Hello, Eliana. Can you hear me? Le quito más resolución para que pueda estar aquí. ¿Sí? Erika, hello, welcome. Hola. Hello. How are you? Fine. Yesterday you had problems, didn't you? Uh, yes. Yeah, um, no electricity, if I'm not mistaken. No, uh, desde las seis de la tarde se fue la electricidad y bueno, hasta ahora casi no me ha tocado. Terrible, terrible. Sí. So, no, no sugar, no sugar. Coffee for me is black. What about you, Andres? Do you like coffee? Yeah. I how love do you like coffee. How do you like your coffee? 
Sí. Black. Eh, de todas las maneras. <laughs> anyway, no, in my case I love it black. Black coffee is for me. Okay. My name must be no sugar, no milk. The only one I pass with milk is the one they call cortado. Okay. Espresso cortado, but the little cup like this with, ah, a, with a sip of Sanamente. milk. Enseñándosela. <laughs> yes, that's the only one for me. But usually for me it's black coffee. Tan bueno que el café. Yeah, I know, I know. Actually, I am lowering down. I'm drinking less. I used to drink a lot more coffee. I used to drink around 10, 12 cups of coffee a day. Solía tomar de 10 a 12 per day. Now? Now I just drink like, let me see. One... Two, three, four, five, just like six. Just like six. The middle. <laughs> yeah, half, half. Half. Yes. Is this word? I'm gonna type it for you. Half. You see the word? Half. Mital. I drinking three, three or four. A three day. or four. Ah, uh, that's okay. I have, when I'm working in the school, I have one at seven, one at nine, one at 11, one at 12.30 after lunch, one at 2 p.m., one at 3.30, one at five, one with dinner, and sometimes one at midnight before going to bed. So I drink around eight or nine when I'm in the school. I drink a lot of coffee. Yes, the July the ten o'clock, four o'clock, and dinner, the after dinner. Okay, that's nice. No digo que las tacitas algo. Yeah, I got a big one like this. Uh -huh. I got a big cup. Uh -huh. <laughs> Yeah, no. Little cups are not for me unless it's an espresso. If it is an espresso, yes. I I can have two espressos. The shot and I get like cool. No, the mía es normal. Yeah, I can imagine. I can imagine. It's a basin. It's a basin. Yes, basin. In Spanish, we would say it's like uh, Nica. Algo así. Yeah, big one. <laughs> Daniel, hello, good evening. I cannot hear you, Daniel. Let's see, there's who else is here. Uh, Carlos. Hello, Carlos. Hello, teacher. How are you? Uh, good, good. You know, with Carlos, I just, I just know this part of your face, Carlos, because I just see you like this. Okay. Oh, it's the first time. Perfect. Excellent. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Ileana, hello. How are you tonight? Hello, teacher. Very good. Ileana was connected like a quarter to eight. Ah, de verdad. Sí, le, le, le dije yo a, a mi niño que me lo conectara mientras terminábamos de cenar. Yeah. I thought you didn't want to talk to me. Yo pensé que no quería hablar conmigo. Ah, no, no. <laughs> Let's see who else is here. Cesar, hello, Cesar. Hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. What about your little girl? Is she around? Uh, she watching TV. Okay, she's having fun right now. Yes. That's good, that's good. Kids need to relax also. Los chicos también necesitan relajarse. 
Let's see, yeah, there's, that's... there's Vicente. Hello, Vicente. How are you tonight? Hello, good evening. Perfect. How are you? Perfect, that's nice. That's yes. the attitude. And let's see, Jennifer, good evening. Hello. Hi, Jennifer, Hi. how was your day? Tired again? Tired again. Okay, I understand you. A hard day from work. Yes. Okay. The song is very hot. Yeah. So. Today was a hot day. Yes. I can understand that. That's why I was drinking coffee. <laughs> Hello, Carla. How are you tonight? Hello. How are you? I'm tired. Tired? I don't believe you. You are smiling. Y sudando, ¿cómo se diría? Carlos? Oh, sweating. 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 I'm sweating. Yes. Uh, I got a fan right here. So I got no problem with that. Yeah, but it's been a hot day. It's been a very hot day. Well, Carla, we missed you yesterday. They told me Carla was par in a party yesterday. Me extrañaron. <laughs> yeah. Yesterday we were sad because you were not here with us. Okay, but today it's good because you are going to practice and we have a lot to practice today. So you have to make up from yesterday and today. Everybody's going to throw questions to you. Todos le van a hacer preguntas a usted. Okay. Uh, it's going to be fun. Don't worry. Today is going to be good. Just let me see a final message to the rest. Let's see. Class started already. Connect, guys. Okay, let's see. Well, what day is today? What day is today, sister? This are um, today is Thursday. Thursday. Oh my Thursday. gosh, I don't understand that word. Would you spell Thursday for me, please? Uh, C e. H H U U R R S Yes D uh -huh. A Yes okay. Perfect, Cesar. Excellent. So Cesar is like on the class right now. Let's see. Andres, tell me in which month were you born? I am from December. In which month is your birthday? April. April. Please April. spell spell April for me. A A B B R R I L. April. Perfect. Thank April. you very much. Excellent. So let's see, Carla. Hello, Carla. Do you know the alphabet, Carla? Yes. Yes? Okay. What is your last name, Carla? Uh, my last, no, my last name is Arevalo. What is your last name? Bolaños. Okay. How do you spell Bolaños? B O L A N and it doesn't N exist. N O S. Perfect. N doesn't exist in English. Okay? So you are Bolanos. Okay. Because N doesn't exist. Okay, let's see. 3, 6, 9, 12. That's nice. Okay, today we are going to, well, we are going to start with this. We are going to make a small review. 
uh, about spelling, but now we are going to spell our occupation. Like in my case, I am a teacher. Teacher. T E A C H E R. Andres, what is your occupation? Are you a sales assistant, no? Sales, uh, sales assistant. Okay, please, spell assistant for me. Okay. A, S, S, I, T, E, Let's start again. M Let's start again. M S. Look, assistant. A S S I I S T A N T. Assistant. Now, Vicente, you are an architect. I'm sorry, Vicente. Please spell architect for me. Okay, A R C H I T E T C. You miss a C architect. You miss a C. 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 Yes. Okay, Cesar, you are an engineer. Please spell engineer for me. Okay, E N G I N E E R. Perfect. Okay, let's see. Um, Daniel, what's your occupation? Industrial engineer. I'm sorry? Industrial engineer. Okay, engineer. Industrial engineer. Perfect. Now, please. Industrial. Spell industrial for me. I N G E N N E R. Ah, engineer. Perfect. Thank you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I had an accountant. Tenía acá un contador. Who's an accountant? Maybel Inde Rodesco. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see, Ileana. Hello, Ileana. Hello. Tell me, what's your occupation? Mm, manicurist. Manicurist. Okay, perfect. Tell me your spell your occupation. Uh, M A N I C U R E I I S T. Perfect. Excellent. Michelle. Hello, Michelle. Good evening. Hello. How are you tonight? Bye. Thanks. Okay, Michelle, tell me, what's your occupation? Assistant. Assistant? Yes. Okay, please, spell assistant to me. A S I Ah, look at the camera. No. S A, okay, let's start over with me, okay? A, A, S, 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 I, I, S, S, T, T, A, A, N, L, T, T. Perfect. Carla, hello. What's your occupation, hey. Carla? I am logistic storage chief. 
Okay, logistic storage chief. Please spell logistics to me. L O G I S T C I I I T O R G I C H E I F C H I E F C H I E F Chief Chief Okay perfect excellent Erika I never under I never remember what's your occupation but it's something about food I remember Okay. Assistant administrative. Okay, administrative. Please spell administrative for me. A D M E N I A D M A D M E I I M I S T R A a T I B -E. oh, oh, look at me, look at me. B B B E. Okay. B. Remember guys, B. 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 Remember, you don't B. hit the word. It's different when we B. say the B. 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 That's B. 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 I'm B. sorry. It's B. B. But this one is Look at me. V. V. Do you remember from yesterday? V. Okay. It's different the pronunciation. Okay. Mayra, hello. How are you tonight? Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, Mayra, tell me. What's your occupation? I'm an uh, accountant. Ah, oh, you're an accountant. Please, Mayra, spell accountant for us. A C C O U N T A M T. Perfect. Wow. Excellent. So, as far as I can tell, you remember the spelling. Anna, hello. How are you? Hello. Me escucha. Hello. Yes, I, I can hear you. I can hear you perfectly. Okay, okay Anna, okay. tell me. What's your occupation? What do you do? Uh, 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 stylist. Stylist. Style, styling. But okay, please spell that word for us. Eh, perdón, se escribe stylist o, o stylist. Uh, are es, you an stylist? Look at the es, screen. Look at the screen. Look at the chat. Stylist. Uh -huh. S t y l i s t s. Es, Ah, okay. Okay. Thank you. How um, is S P A Y Y L L I S I S P S. S. Yes, one S at the end. Thank okay. you very much. Okay. Let's see who's missing. I think somebody's missing. Who's missing? Carlos, are you the one? A seller. You're a seller. Oh, that's easy. Please spell seller for us. Okay. Uh, S. S. E. E. L. 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 E. E. R. 
are. Perfect. Excellent. Now, let's see. Let's see, let's see. We finished with the review. That's it with the spelling, don't worry. No more spelling today. Tomorrow, we are going to make a whole review of the week. Mañana vamos a hacer todo un repaso de toda la semana. Tomorrow, we are going to work again with the spelling just a little bit because we are going to review all the topics, okay? Every Friday, we are going to do that. But today, we are going to talk about the possessive, okay? The topic for us today is possessive. You see the word? Possessive. I send you the word in the chat, okay? We're going to talk about the possessives. Okay, let's see. It's simple, like, uh, let's see. This is a cell phone. This is my cell phone, okay? This is another cell phone. These are my cell phones. Okay, let's see. I have another one here. This is not my cell phone. Okay? This is not my cell phone. This is my wife's cell phone. So this is her cell phone. Okay? You see? This is her. We're going to work with those words today. We're going to make the difference between when something is mine, when something is your when something is his, okay? We're going to talk about the possessive. And it's very easy, it's simple, very simple. But it is very important for us to remember. So guys, uh, let's see. Are you ready to talk about the possessive? Yes? Okie dokie, we are going to start, remember, uh, sometimes I present just one PowerPoint presentation, but as yesterday, remember, we take a long time covering because I want to everything explain clearly. Puede ser que solamente una presentación veamos, pero vamos despacito porque recuerden, al igual que ayer, se recuerdan cuando una cubrimos con de tiempo, because I want everything to be like today, like the spelling. I think that with spelling, we got no problems right now. Okay? So we are going to work with we are going to start with the possessives. Okay, okay, okay. And let's see. I'm going to share with you the presentation. Okay, possessive adjectives. We are going to focus on the possessive adjectives. And we got here the personal pronouns because they got a relation, okay? Look at the sentence. I have got a ball. I have a ball, okay? I've got a ball. It's my ball, okay? Oh, that means that this is the first one. I have got a ball. I got a ball. I it's ball. my me. ball. Me. So the first possessive is my. 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 That's why I told you this is me. my me. cell phone. My cell Okay? This is my cell phone. The sentence, uh, I want to explain something so you don't get confused. Eh, le voy a explicar algo para que no se confunda. The sentence there in the presentation says, I've got a ball. I have got a ball means the same as I have a ball. Significa lo mismo que decir, I have a ball. Yo tengo una pelota. Okay? I have got is just a modism. Simplemente es un modismo. Some people, like me, we speak like that. Algunos hablamos así. Some people say, I have a ball, and it's exactly the same. Both ways are okay. Ambas maneras está bien. It's more a, it's more a matter of uh, how you learn. Es más una cuestión de costumbre. Como uno aprendió. Like in my case, I say, I got a ball. 
You see, that's the way I pronounce it. I've got a ball. But it's the same way if I say, I have a ball. So anyway, it's okay. Cualquiera de las dos maneras está correcto. If you say, I have a ball, perfect. If you say, I've got a ball, perfect. Okay, no problem with that. So let's continue. That was the first one. Remember, my. Now I'm going to share it again so we continue. Okay, the guy is pointing to you guys. I'm sorry. You have got a ball. It's your ball. It's your ball, okay? That's why the guy here is pointing to you. You have got a ball. It's your ball. Now, let's see. The first one was my. The second one is your, okay? You see? It's like I say, I tell Michelle, Michelle, Hey, I like your glasses. You see? I like your glasses. I am telling her that I like her glasses. Ah, that's next. The first one, my. The second one, your. Okay? Let's continue. He has got a ball. He's got a ball. It's his ball. Okay? He has got a ball. It's his ball. I'm sorry. Now, his. Okay. Uh, I remember, I'm sorry, Cesar. I remember that yesterday I so I was watching Caesar's daughter sharing the, the earphone with him. His daughter, listen, his daughter was also in the class. You see, his daughter was also in the class. This sentence, what am I saying? I am saying that. You can see here, I'm going to take the sentence. His daughter was also in the class. Okay, you see the sentence? His daughter was also in the class. Now, I want you to look at that sentence. Quiero que vean esa oración. If you see, we got daughter and we got his always the possessive goes before the possession okay siempre ese posesivo va antes de lo que se posee es un adjetivo okay his daughter his ball it's his ball but remember it's your ball you see? But antes de lo que se posee. Yes? Let's continue. She has got a ball. It's her ball. Nice. Look, she has got a ball. It's her ball. Hair, hair. Now, I was talking a few minutes ago about Michelle's glasses. I was talking about her glasses. As you can see, these ones substitute the name. Look at the sentence. I talk about Michelle, Michelle's glasses. 
it means that I talk about hair glasses. Look at both sentences. Can you see the sentences in the chat? Yes? So if you see in the first one, I talk about Michelle's glasses. Oh, Michelle, the name. In the second one, I don't need the name. I just say, I talk about hair glasses. So I am substituting Michelle's by hair. You see? Okay, let's continue. It has got a ball. It's its ball. Now, this one is kind of weird. It's its ball. No apostrophe here, you see? No apostrophe. It's its ball. Why did you? Because this is the contraction of it is. Esta es la contracción del sujeto y el verbo. It is. Aquí dice es. And here is the possessive. It's ball. Now, okay. and this is what I wanted to get. Okay? We have a small problem, not with English. We have a problem with Spanish. When we are talking in, about this topic, his, her, and it's those three for us in Spanish are the same. El problemita acá lo tenemos en español, no en inglés. Y yo veo que me quedan viendo así de mm. simple. Sí, es que creí que estaba incorrecto decir it's it. No, because okay. there are two different things. You see, the first one was it's, it's ball. El primero era sujeto y verbo contractado. The mm -hmm. second one was the possessive. Si usted se fijó, no había apóstrofe. Uy, sí, sí, sí. Lo que sucede es esto. His, her, it's, her. para it's. nosotros en español, significan su. It's the same. Listen. I like Michelle's glasses. Ok. I like her glasses. Me gustan sus lentes. Who I was talking about? ¿De quién hablaba? De ella. Michelle. Ok. Andrés is also wearing glasses. Oh, Andrés. I like Andrés' glasses. I like his glasses. Me gustan sus lentes. ¿De quién hablo ahora? De él. You see? So, in Spanish, when we talk about hair and when we talk about female and male, in Spanish we use the same word, su. En español usamos la misma palabra. Yes? Y cuando nos referimos a un objeto o un animal, igual usamos su. Por ejemplo, este, algunos animalitos les cortan su cola. ¿Verdad? Su. We use the same word in Spanish for male, female, animals. Su. But English is more specific. In English, we say his for a male, her for a lady, and its for an animal or an object. You see the difference? Entendemos ahora la diferencia. So, the way, the problem in thinking like this is that in Spanish we use one word for three different situations, completely different, because Michelle is a lady, Andres is a person, a dog is an animal, but in Spanish we use the same word. In English we are more specific. His for a guy, her, for a lady, and it's 
for an animal or an object. Are we good here? Vamos bien hasta acá? Yes? Questions? No questions? Remember, any doubt? Tell me, tell me, tell me. Cualquier duda, digan. Shall we continue? Continuamos entonces? Yes? Okay, perfect. Uh, let's continue. Okay, we have got a ball. It's our, our ball. Our ball. Listen, our, our. Now, with this word, we have to be careful. Why? Because there's also the word our. Look at that one. It's our, ora. But in this case, we are saying our. Listen to the difference, okay? The first one, ora, our. The second one, nuestro, our. Charter, okay? Can you hear the difference? Podemos escuchar la diferencia? Yes? The first one, our, our, ora. Our. Nuestro, our. 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 Okay. Our. Yes, like this is our class. You see, this is our class. Esta es nuestra clase. This is our class. This class is two hours long. You get the difference? This class is two hours long. This is our class. It's different, no? Slightly different, but you can tell the difference. Shall we continue? Yes? Okay, I'm sorry. This expression. I use it a lot. Shall we continue? It means... Uh, Podemos continuar? Just that I am being... Very polite. Estoy siendo muy amable. I'm sorry, that expression is kind of old-fashioned. Esa expresión es un poquito viejita, por así decirlo. But I use it a lot. Okay? Uh, it's like, a, it's a very, very polite expression that you use, like, imagine Caesar is in a party. And Caesar wants to invite uh, Mayra to dance. And Cesar goes to Mayra and says, Mayra, shall we dance? He's very, very polite. Just to let you know, because you will hear that word from me. Solo para que sepan porque si van a escuchar esa palabra de mí, el shall. Okay? So, shall we continue? Yes? Cool. Okay, let's see. You all have got a ball. Todos ustedes. You see? You all. Todos ustedes. You all have got a ball. You, you all got a ball. That's your ball. Now, if you remember, your is used in singular and in plural. You remember that, don't you? Recordamos eso, ¿verdad? Your is used in singular and in plural. So, your ball, just one, and your ball in plural. Because, así como el pronombre, you is used for usted, tú, ustedes. The possessive your, and here is again the problem. Chef, ¿y cómo diferenciar cuando es en singular y en plural? Porque context. Se ocupa, context. Se ocupa el mismo adjetivo, siempre. Usually, when you use it like that, you're speaking to a group. 
normalmente estamos, cuando lo usamos en plural, estamos hablando con un grupo. Como por ejemplo, yo les digo, hey guys, I've been checking your homeworks. I've been checking your homeworks. Pero dije, hey guys, hey chicos, plural. Hey sister, I was checking your homework. Singular. You see the difference, you get it through context. Okay? Is that right? Estamos bien? Okay. Marcos, sorry Marcos, good night. I'm sorry I didn't greet you today. There's Marcos, he came. I'm sorry that I was not paying attention. It's just that these ladies got me distracted in this side of the screen and you got appear on the other side. Okay, let's see, let's continue. And then we have, they have got a ball. You see, the kid is pointing, he's pointing, they are far. So it's there, there, it's their ball, there. Now, oops, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Now, as you can see, it is saying there. You pronounce the TH in this case is pronounced as the letter D in Spanish. Okay? La TH in este caso se pronuncia como la D in Español. There. Okay? There. And your tongue goes backwards. There. Okay, let's continue. Okay, what? Let's see. Now I'm going to be asking some of you. Let's see, let's see who. Okay, let's see. Number one, Carlos, for I wishes. Which corresponds to I? Your, her, our, their, my, his. Yeah. Carlos. Yes, Carlos Alberto. Tell me. Para I, ¿cuál corresponde? Your, our, her, their. You. I remember, for I, when we are talking about I, the one who corresponds is my. My. Yes, my. For you, which corresponds for you, uh, Daniel? Your. Perfect. Your. Excellent. Which one corresponds to he, Erika? Mm. Is. Is. No. Oops, I'm sorry. Hair. No, my bad, my bad, no, my bad. No, no. I made a mistake here. Sorry. It's like this. Remember, I, my, you, your, your. he, his, his. she, her, her, her. it, its. It. We, our, our. You, you, your, they, okay. their. Okay, let's repeat one more time. My, My your, your, his, his her, 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 it's, it's, our, our, our your, you. There. There. Perfect. Okay, this is Bart's dog. Now let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Carla, this is Bart's dog. It's. It's. It dog. What? It is dog. It's. No. It. Correct. His dog. 
Okay, let's continue. Let's see now, now, now. Cesar, this is Lisa's bike. It's? It's her bike. Let's see. Correct. Perfect, thank you. Now, Ileana, let's see, let's see, Ileana. I have got a saxophone. It's? It's here, saxophone. Mm -hmm. Look at the sentence. I, I have got a saxophone. It's correct. My saxophone. Okay. Now let's see, Michelle. Look, Michelle, Dad, you have got a donut. It's he. He's. Look at the sentence. Dad, you. Her. You. Your. Ah, okay. Correct. Your. Now let's see. Marcos. The dog has got a bone. It's. Or. Ah, the dog. It's an animal. It. It. Ah, come on. Correct. Now, let's see, let's see. Uh, Vicente, Bart and I have got a sister. It's. Your. Bart and I. Imagine that you are reading the sentence. Usted está leyendo la oración. Our. Ah, perfect. Correct. Excellent. Okay. You see, it's very simple. It's actually very simple. Okay, okay, okay. Now, let me see. Okay, it's 8.45, exactly on time. Gosh, we're exactly on time with the lesson plan. Excellent. Okay, now, we have talked about the possessive pronouns. Let's see, Andres, tell me the possessive pronouns. Which are they? Tell me, I... Which one corresponds? Okay. Okay. The possessive pronouns for I, my, you, your, he, his, she, her, her, her. her. No es her. Cuando lleva la s el hers, más adelante lo verán. Okay. Take it easy. It. It. We. Or. Our. Our. They. They. Perfect. Michelle. They. And they're. 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 Llevo una I. There. They, there. Okay, better. We. Our. Okay, but don't look down. Look at me. Look at me. We. Uh, our. Okay, she. Care. Perfect. You. Your. Excellent. Cesar. I. My. You. Your. They. Uh, they. They. Perfect. Thank you. Carla. We. Are. You. Your. 
He. His. It. It's. They. 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 Thank you, Erika. Hi. 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 <laughs> I. I. My. You. Your. He. His. Okay, perfect. Jennifer. Now Hello. we change. My. I. His. Sorry? His. Uh, he. Our. We. There. They. Excellent. Eliana. Sí. Your. You. Our. We. Okay, thank you very much. So you see, it's very simple, no? It's actually very simple. This is not like a, a topic that you say, oh my gosh, this is very, very complex. It's actually very, very simple. Remember, they express position. So when we use them, we are referring about something that is ours or that is mine. Remember, they always go before the word, uh, what you say that you possess, okay? That's something very important to remember. So they correspond, as you saw, they correspond to each personal pronoun. That's why we have the personal pronoun and we have the possessive adjective. Up to here, tell me, is there any question? ¿Alguna pregunta hasta este momento? No? We cool? So, no, no, question. Yes, tell me. Eh, siempre eh, bueno, en inglés no sé cómo decir, eh, hay que poner atención al, ¿cómo se llama? al pronombre, ¿verdad? Para yes. poder ver qué, va, qué posesivo es el que va. Yes. No conoces, no conozco. What's that? Eh, aquí se le rebalsó la, la bebida que a mi compañera. Oh, ok. Uh, I was like, what was that, man? Okay, hello. Just let me see that I need to report something and I did it already. Okay, let's continue. Let's see who's missing here. There's somebody missing. Hay alguien que me falta que vino ayer. I'm gonna get the attendance in 10 minutes. And there's somebody I try to remember. It's hard for me to get all the names, but I'll try to. So as you can see, this is a very simple topic. Any other question, guys? I got a preguntita. Please tell me. No more questions up to here? Okay, now. Let's see. Today, we are going to also work in the manual, in the book, okay? So just give me a second, where is that? Oh, all right here, right here, right here. And today we're supposed to work in page number 16 from the manual, because we are talking about the possessive, okay? And in order to get that, we also need to review a little bit of this. The exercise is very simple and in the manual appears exactly what we saw in the PowerPoint presentation, but succinct. No sé cómo se diga esa palabra en español, I'm sorry. Uh, I will text it to you. Succinct. Short. Okay. No sé si existe en español eso. Or I don't know the, 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 I don't know how it is used in Spanish, I'm sorry. But what I mean is that in the manual it appears very short, very tiny. In the manual it aparece bien cortito. I'll show it to you right now. And this is exactly the same that we've been practicing, just that 
in the exercise in the PowerPoint, we expand on it a lot. But you will see it right now, okay? Hold on, give me a second. Where is it? Right here. Can you see the screen? Yes? Okay, possessive adjective. You see, I, my, you, your, he, his, she, her, it, its, we, our, they, their. In this case, our teacher's name. Okay, what's your teacher's name, guys? Let's see, uh, Cesar, tell me, what's your teacher's name? Douglas Arevalo. Ah, the sentence, complete sentence, please. Ah, okay. Uh, our teacher's name, Douglas Arevalo. Perfect. Okay, just one word. Our teacher's name is Douglas Arevalo, okay? Uh, pero, uh, dije, bueno, names funciona también, decir names. Our teacher names, no. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you. Perdone, quizás no le escuché yo bien. Yes, it's correct. And that's what I'm going okay. right now. A eso okay. voy en este momento. Because there's something that also appears here that it's very important for you to remember. And that is the Saxon genitive. Can you see that? Can you see the little apostrophe S? Like in Pedro's addresses. Melissa and Dora's last name. In this case, we are talking about possessive nouns. This is different. We were talking about possessive adjectives. Now we are going to talk about possessive nouns. And this is a little bit slightly different, okay? But before we go to that, we are going to do something. Antes de pasar a ello, the attendance. Oops, I'm sorry. Let's see. Carlos Alberto Menendez. Thank you. Mayra Iliana Corleto. Present. Thank you, Mayra. Eh, Ana María Palacios. Present. Perfect, thank you. Eh, Maybelline Michelle. Present. Great. Erika del Carmen. Present. Jennifer Elizabeth. Present. Nice. José Reinaldo. He didn't appear. No more. Claudia Patricia. Hmm. Claudia is having problems since yesterday. Andres Alberto Orellana. Present. Thank you. Cesar Humberto. Present. Thank you. Jenny Lisset Escobar. Yes. Oh, Jenny is missing. She was here yesterday. Jose Ever, also missing. Vicente Alexander. Present. Thank you. Daniel Arturo. Present. Great. Mayra Lisset. Mm. Mayra Lisset, not here. Ooh. Marcos Ivan. Where's Marcos? Oh, yeah, he's right there. And Crisia Madeline, not here. Maybelline Janira, also not in class. Carla Ivonne. Carla, I didn't hear you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Now I heard you. And Julio, not here today either. Okay, let's see. 
Okay, hold on. There's somebody that I didn't write here. Let's see. Uh, Claudia, no. Jenny Lisette, either. Jose Ever, Mayra Lisette, not here. Present. Mayra. I'm sorry, Mayra. I was, yes, thank you, thank you, thank you. Could you imagine that I didn't get you? But now we are. Now it is correct. Okay. Let's go back to what we were talking about. Okay. To the book. To the book. To the book. To the book. I'm sorry, somebody shot. Oh yes, it was Mayra. Now, let's go back to what I was showing you from the book. Look at the possessive nouns. Look, our teacher's name, Pedro's address, Melissa and Dora's last name, okay? We call these possessive nouns. It also has another name. It has also a very different name. And the name that it got is the, it is also known as the Saxon genitive. And I will explain exactly that topic right now to you. In this case, uh, it's going to be it's going to be a slightly uh, different. Okay, I will make a small pause from the English. Vamos a explicar un poquito eso del possessive nouns. It is very simple. Es muy simple. In English, it's also known as the Saxon genitive. En inglés también se le conoce como el Saxon genitive. And what is that? Okay, look. Imagine that. Uh, Let's see who, uh, Marcos. Marcos and me were having a cup of coffee. Okay? Marcos y yo nos encontramos y decidimos tomar una taza de café. We share a cup of coffee. Okay? But then, uh, Carla appeared. Apareció Carla por ahí and she sat down with us. Se sentó con nosotros. And after a few minutes, Carla left. Ella se fue. But Carla forgot her cell phone. That's bad. Carla olvidó su teléfono. And we, and Marcos tell me, oh, who's this cell phone? And I tell her, I tell him, this is Carla's, Carla's cell phone. What do I do? Okay, what I did was simple. I say, this is Carla's cell phone, okay? I will show it to you in a PowerPoint presentation better, okay? So you can see it. Let's see, we are going to do one. Just give me a second so I can erase this. Uh, sorry guys okay I say this is her cell phone can you see it? pueden verlo muy chico can you see the sentence, guys? I'm sorry. Alguien que me diga si lo pueden ver. Dale un poquito más. Ahí está. A little bit more? Yes. Like this? Okay. I tell you, this is her cell phone. This cell phone. is hers. This is another way to express. But I can say, this is Carla's 
cell phone. Okay. We are going to focus right now this one. Let's forget. This is Carla's cell phone. Okay. When you see this, when you see this, and I'm sorry, this was not an apostrophe. Ah, like this. Okay, when you see exactly this, uh, the apostrophe is tells me that the, the word that is after the apostrophe is belongs to the name to the name okay take a look at this sentence okay el apóstrofe nos dice a nosotros colocamos el apóstrofe s con el nombre desde ese momento a mí me está diciendo Que lo que viene después le pertenece al nombre. Ok? So I say, oh, this is Carla's cell phone. Carla's cell phone. This is the cell phone of Carla. You see? I am saying exactly the same, but shorter. That's another way to say it. I can say, I can say I can say the sentence this is the cell phone of Carla. That's like the complete form, like the full form. And I could say it and that's exactly okay. That's no problem. It's completely correct. You see? I say this is her cell phone. This is Carla's cell phone. This is the cell phone of Carla, this is the last one. This sentence is like the the full form, the complete form. Okay. Teacher, quiere decir que eso no es una contracción, no. sino que no. no exactly. Está, no está, no es, okay. Look, Cesar, what you are asking is about this. La contracción sería si acá hubiese otra palabra que no fuese this, contractaría yo con apóstrofe S. Yo contracto el sujeto con el verbo. But as you can see, we got subject, verb, and this is part of the complement. Okay? In the sentence, what I have is this. Look. Uh, let's see. We are going to move all this like this. In the sentence, we got here the subject, okay? This is here the verb, but the rest is the complement. In the basic structure, because we are talking about simple present here, estamos hablando del presente simple, la estructura básica me dice a mí, subject, verb, complement. Las contracciones las hago con, entre el sujeto y el verbo. ¿Ok? Like, uh, I could say, I could say something like this, look. I could say, Carla, Carla's my friend. This sentence is the same as if, as if I say, Carla is my friend you see in this case it's a contraction subject verb complement subject verb complement is it clear now Cesar? Yes, so, yes, yes, yes. yes so yes, this is yes, not yes. a contraction in this case we are talking about the possessive noun Estamos convirtiendo el nombre en un posesivo. How? Through the apostrophe S. ¿Cómo lo convertimos el nombre en un posesivo? A través del apóstrofe S. Me indica a mí esto, que lo que viene a continuación le pertenece. Entonces, when Marcos and me were having a coffee, we realized that Carla forgot her cell phone. And we say, oh, this is her cell phone. This is Carla's 
cell function. You see? Okay, now let's make a pause. Do we understand? Entendimos o nos perdimos? So, so. I understand. So, so. Okay, listen. Let's go back to the presentation and I will explain every sentence. Uh, would you like me to explain it perhaps a little bit in Spanish? Le, te la explico un poquito en español? Mm -hmm. Okay, that's got to be short. Very short. The less possible, lo menos posible, en español, but I'll try to be sure, okay? We will go again to the, to the presentation so you can see. Okay, guys, let's see. As you can see, I have here, the main sentence is this, okay? La oración principal es esta. This is the cell phone of Carla. Complete form. Este es el teléfono de Carla. But in English, we don't actually speak like this. Pero en inglés realmente no hablamos muy comúnmente así. We say, si ya sabemos de quién estamos hablando, we say, this is her cell phone. ¿Por qué? Porque el her me sustituye el nombre. So, de ella. Do you remember? Or the other option, or well, the other option is when we use the possessive noun. La otra opción es cuando convertimos el nombre en un posesivo. Through the Saxon genitive, a través del apóstrofe S. Yo digo, this is Carla's cell phone. As simple as that. Así de simple. It's like, uh, do you remember the, the, the beauty salons? ¿Recordamos los salones de belleza? Yes? Uh, ladies, tell me the name of one. Dígame el nombre de uno. Vidal's. That's one, no? Yeah. Sí. ¿Sí? Yes? Yeah. Vidal's. You see? Vidal's. Apostrophe is Vidal's Salon. Oh, that salon belongs to Vidal. Es el salón de Vidal. As simple as that. El apóstrofe se quiere decir de. For us in Spanish. Para nosotros en español. In English, it expressed that what comes next belongs. Okay? Like, uh, maybe Michelle was asking me yesterday. Hey, teacher, who was a little girl who was there? ¿Quién era una niñita que estaba ahí? Yo la vi. Y yo le digo, oh. That's Caesar's daughter. You get it, Caesar? That's Caesar's daughter. La niña de Caesar. Okay? I can say, uh, Carla's son was doing homework. El hijo de Carla estaba haciendo homework un día de estos. Creo yo, because she was like, Pointing to him. Uh, I can say Vicente's dogs are very quiet. Los perritos de Vicente son muy callados. They don't make noise. Or at least we don't hear them. O al menos no los oímos. But you see, Vicente's dogs. Apostrophe S. It's the same as if I say the dogs of Vicente, but that's too long. In English, whenever you can contract, you contract. And this is not a contraction, but it's a shorter way. Esta no es una contracción, pero es una manera más corta. Y en inglés, sí. cuando puede ser lo más corto, se dice. Yes, Cesar. Teacher, una pregunta. Y si la palabra o el nombre termina en S, siempre hay que hacer ah. el... el, el... Perfect. Excellent question. Just add the apostrophe after the S. Okay? Tell me a name. Marcos. Okay, there's Marcos. I'll show you. I'll show you right now. You know, guys, the other day, Marco was telling me about himself. Marco me estaba contando un poco de su vida. 
And he showed me a picture of his girlfriend. Y me enseñó una foto de su novia. And man, you should know that Marcos. Marcos's girlfriend is very cute. Marcos's girlfriend is very cute. In all English, you will see this. In English, Antiguo van a ver esto. But mostly, what you will see is this. Marcos. El nombre y el apóstrofe después de la S. Was that your question, Cesar? Era esa su pregunta, Cesar? Sí, esa era. Okay. When you get a name with the with the S that ends in S, sometimes you just add the apostrophe. apostrophe. And you understand okay. that that's what we are talking, the possessive. Okay? Okay, okay. Okay. Guys, another question. It's good when you make me question. It's great. Es buenísimo cuando me hacen preguntas. I like it. Another question? No? Okay, let's continue then. It's just that I love grammar. A mí me encanta la gramática. Okay, now let's go back to the manual. Vamos teacher. A ver. Yes? Teacher, pero en el ejemplo que acaba de dar, este empieza en Marcos. O sea, al inicio de la oración. Y anteriormente oh. dijo que podía ir entre el verbo y el sujeto. Okay, look, look, o look. entre el... Algo así lo entendí. Yes, I, I understand what's your idea. It's the verb. Es parte del sujeto. Lo que sucede es esto. El verbo va acá. Un sujeto puede ser un nombre o un pronombre, pero también hay sujetos compuestos. El sujeto de esta oración es la novia de Marcos. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Este es el verbo. Is. El verbo cero estar. El verbo. ¿Y sí? Entonces, este es un sujeto compuesto. Y el sujeto es la novia de Marcos. Todo eso es el sujeto. Okay. Pero estoy hablando siempre de posesivo. Vea usted acá. Desde el momento que vemos el apóstrofe decimos A, ah, él o la de. Como es Marcos. Y como aquí dice girlfriend, es la novia de Marcos. Pero esto es parte del sujeto todavía. Here is the verb. ¿Ok? Ok. ¿Any other question? No. Ok. Great. Let's continue. Along and this is it. Okay, now. Okay, let's see. First, we are going to do exercise five. You got your manuals, guys? Tienen sus manuales? You're going to ask a partner to spell the following information and write it on the space. Okay? So, you are going to ask your partner to spell your teacher's name, your classmate's name, a classmate occupation, and a classmate's last name. But we are going to solve these four in the breakout rooms. What are you going to do? Okay, you are going to ask your partner, what's your teacher's name? What's your classmate's name? What's a classmate's occupation. What's a classmate's last name? Remember to pronounce the S. Your teachers, your classmates, a classmates. Okay? Do you understand what you're going to do? ¿Entendemos lo que vamos a hacer? We go to the breakout rooms, you are going to work in pairs, and you are going to ask your partner those four questions and you are going to switch roles. We are going to have exactly five minutes for that activity, okay? So right now is uh, 18, so in 23, we come back. 
So I will create the breakout rooms right now, guys. Let's see, what is it, what is it, what is it? Okay, breakout room. Okay, I got 14. Oh. Sir, solo una consulta para... Yes. Antes de... Entonces la respuesta aquí solamente va a ser la respuesta spell. corta. Yes, just spell. La van a deletrear. Ah, ok. But Pero, when, I, when I go over, when I go over, cuando yo pasé por ahí, I will focus not that much in the spelling. Me voy a enfocar no tanto en el spelling, but in the pronunciation of that apostrophe S. Ok. Your mm -hmm. teachers, mm -hmm. your classmates, Listen, I'm not asking about your classmates. I'm asking about your classmates. Ese es de posesión es diferente del plural. Plural, listen, classmates. Possessive, classmates. Lo alargo. Cuando es el posesivo, alargo el sonido de la S al final. ¿Ok? Marcos, classmates. Carlos. The S is longer. Caesars. The S is longer. And that's what I'm going to be checking. Are we ready? Yes? Yes. yes. Okay, let's go then. Hello guys, I still got you here. Remember to join. Perfect. Ay, no, aquí está el teacher en el caso para que ella pueda bajar los manuales con, y dice que tiene una app. ¿Cómo podría ser? ¿Qué tiene? La app de tengo, Cargol. Yo tengo la aplicación. La aplicación del... De inglés corporativo. Ok, ok. Let's do something. Cuando termine la clase, mándeme un mensaje al grupo y la voy a referir con quien le va a dar toda la indicación, ¿ok? Ah, va. Okay. Es Jason quien le va a dar las indicaciones detalladas de cómo lo puede hacer. Ah, ok. Así que, bueno. don't worry in this moment. No se preocupe en este momento. We will fix that. Bye. Right now, let's do the exercise. Bye. Ok. En el caso de teacher, yo entiendo que teníamos que decir your teachers, teachers, Nate, como posesivo, ¿verdad? Sí, pero no tan largo, no tan largo, no tan forzado. Ok, like this. Ileana, please, eh, what's your teacher's name? Uh, the teachers. No. Yes, yes. The, the teacher's name y Douglas. Ok, spell it, please. Uh, D O U G L A S. Perfect. Continue. I'll go to another room to check on the other people. Okay. Continue it like that. Okay. Sí, verdad, ese sería. Sí. Entonces. No Spanish. Let's try to use English. I got you. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> your okay, let's, teacher's let's name? What's your teacher's name? D? O? Uh, 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 uh. Oh, no. My teacher's name is? Complete. Okay, okay, okay. complete. My teacher's name is Douglas. D O U 
G L A S. Perfect. Continue, guys. What's your classmate? Bueno, ahí está el teacher ahorita. Para que Hello. Le Hello. Hi, teacher. Hi. Eh, your class, o sea, solamente era lo del classmate. Classmate. Name. Classmate's name. Yes. Any name. Any one of the classmates. Cualquiera. No, but it was your teacher's name. And it was your classmate's name, a classmate's occupation, and a mm -hmm. last name. Oh, okay. Yes, but you have to say, my classmate's name is, and you spell it. Okay? Like me. Ask me, please, Michelle. O sea, sería el mío, no el de mi compañero. Pregúnteme, pregúnteme. Ah, uh, your classmate. Name? Okay. My classmate's name is Vicente. Any name, okay? Vicente. V I Z E N T E. Vicente. Okay? Continue. Mm -hmm. okay. yeah. uh, a, a classmate occupation? That's your turn, Carlos. Okay. Uh... Ahorita sería este. What is your occupation? Ah. My occupation is self assistant. Okay. Now, Andres, tell me a classmate's occupation, please. Sorry. Um, I don't know. And ask me, ask me, please. Mm -hmm. Teacher. Yes. A uh, classmate occupation. Okay, let's see. Uh, Caesar. Caesar is an engineer. Engineer. E. M. Now you see? That's what I want you to do. Okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Jennifer. A uh, classmate occupation. Oh. Health safety inspector. The letter of the name. M. No. A M. M A R C O S. Okay. Mm -hmm. M. Mm -hmm. Okay. Erica, Atla you're sideways. You are like this. You are sideways. <laughs> Está de lado. Yo. Yes, your camera. I see you like. Uh, oh, now I see you good. Yo pensé que ustedes estaban así. No, 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 no. What's you? What's you? Y yo así. Yeah. Okay. I saw Carla that she was like twisting. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Carla, uh, tell me, please, a classmate's occupation. A. Uh, 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 uh. No, system. Ask the question. Ask the question to me. Pregúntenme. -me. A classmate's occupation. Okay, let's see. Uh, Vicente is an architect. A R C H. You see? Make the sentence and then spell. Okay, we are having conversation. You already know how to do that. Esa pequeñas palabritas para la conversación ya la dominamos. Let's use them. Let's use English. Continue, girls. Mm, a classmate. Hello, Marcos. Hello, teacher. Okay, tell me uh, your teacher's name. Mm. 
No le comprendí, teacher. Tell me, please, your teacher's name. Ok, lo que íbamos a hacer era esto. Preguntábamos al compañero, what's your teacher's name? And, en este caso, Ana le contestaba a usted, my teacher's name is Douglas. D-O-U-G-L-A-X. Usted le pregunta luego, what's your classmate's name? Y él le dice, my classmate's name is uh, Ana. A and A. Y luego cambiar. ¿Ok? Sí. Son dos preguntas. Actually, it's four. A classmate's name, a your teacher's name, a classmate's okay. occupation, and a classmate's last name. El apellido de un compañero. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Continue. Let's practice. I'll be back in a minute. Regreso en un momento. Okay. Uh, en, engineer. 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 In, in, engineer. Look at me, look at me, look at me. Mírame. Engineer. Engineer. No, es engineer. No. Engineer. Engineer. Yes. Engineer. Uh, uh, engineer. 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 Doble S suena como I. Okay. Doble S suena como I. Engineer. Engineer. Near. 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 Y el, eh, 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 el que se escribe es en, es en Iren. Ese es ingeniero. Como ingeniería. Engineering. ¿Cuál es la diferencia? Ingeniería. Ah, esa es la, la, la profesión. Yes, the occupation. Ah, sí, porque la estaba confundiendo a ella con yes. el teletreo. Yes, it's like Iliana's studying engineering. Ella estudia engineering. Iliana wants to be an engineer. Iliana mm. quiere ser un ingeniero. You see the difference? Sí. Ok. Continue, okay. girls. One minute. One more minute and we go back. Okay? Thank you. You're welcome. What is your classmate's name? My classmate's name is Mayra. M-A-Y-R-A. Perfect. Excellent. What is classmate occupation? Uh -huh. Hello, teacher. Hello. Maybelline, tell me a classmate's last name. Last name uh, is El de mi compañero. Yes. Es y Er... No, 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 perdón. Ay, pero estaba con la occupation. No sé. You, you can tell me, Carlos. Carlos, last name. Eh, de mi compañera. Yeah, tell me Maybelline's last name. Oh, ahorita. Eh... Eh. Eh, eh, el, el nombre de ella, ¿verdad? Teacher. Last name, Martínez. Ah, ok. Sería M, A, R, T, I, M, I, Sí. Z. 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 Exactly. Z. Z. Okay, let's let's get out of the breakout rooms, okay? Okay.
Okay, I got almost everybody here. Oh, now I can see you better, Erika. That's great. Let's see, there's Daniel. Who's missing? Okay, I think there's... There's one person missing. Okay, there it is. Perfect. Okay, guys, let's see. Now we are going to practice here in the in the whole room. I'm going to be throwing all around. So everybody, please open your mics. Open your microphone, everybody. <laughs> I want the conversations to go like fast, okay? No? Let's see, Carla, open your microphone. Daniel, open your microphone. Ana, thank you. Okay, now, let's see, guys. Well, it is nice to know uh, different people. So please, Cesar, tell me. Uh, tell me, please, what's your boss? Name. My boss name is Roberto. Okay, would you spell Roberto for me, please? Okay, R O B E R T -E O. Okay, thank you very much. Let's see, Carla. Hello. Hello. Tell me, Carla, uh, what's your son's name? You got a son, no? Okay, what's your son's name? J-E-R-E-M-Y. Now the name, please. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Now, let's see, uh, Erika, where do you live, Erika? Uh, El Carmen. El Carmen. Where is that located? ¿Dónde se ubica? Uh, al final de la Colonia Escalón. Oh, up there. Yes. Yeah, Carmen. Please, would you mind spelling Carmen for me? Yes. Um, C A R M E M. Okay, perfect. Now I'm going to start doing again questions to you. But if I ask you, like in the case that I ask Carla, what's your son's name? You are going to tell me in the case of Carla because she's talking about a boy. His name is and the name, no spelling. Okay. No more spelling, but I want you to use his, her, okay? Like, Cesar, what's your daughter's name? Her name? Her name is Daniela. Okay, thank you. Maybelline. Michelle. Sí, yes. Sorry. Uh, Michelle, tell me, what's your husband's name? Uh, Vladimir. His name is. His name is Vladimir. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. And let's see, Jennifer. Hello. What's your husband's full name? His name is Kevin Wilfredo Alas. Okay, please. How do you spell alas? A-L-A-S. Perfect. Excellent. Uh, Mayra. Mayra Lisette. Hola. Hi. Hola. Hola here. Hi. <laughs> okay, Mayra, tell me. Uh, what's your mother's name? Her name? Is Lillian. Oh, Lillian. And what's her last name? Florentino. 
her last name is Florentino. Perfect. What about her middle name? Last name. Do you remember no. middle? What I explained name? yesterday. Okay, listen, listen. My name is Gomez. Okay, listen to me. My first name is Douglas. My middle name is Rodolfo. My last name is Areval. And my mother's name is Amaya. Okay. Mother name. Mothers. Teacher. Yes. Se puede decir my second name? Uh, uh, middle. Middle. Yes. Okay. Look. Look, I'll do it here for you guys. Hold on. Okay, look. My first, my first name is Douglas. My middle name is Rodolfo. My last name is Areva. And my mother's name is Amaya. Teacher. Yes. Y si está casado y lleva el de. That's your husband's name. Or in the case, las que llevan el de, that's your last name. Ese es su apellido. If you decided to get D, that's your last name. Okay, imagine that you are Jennifer Hueso de Alas. Okay? Yeah. You are Jennifer Alas. Okay. Your last name is Alas. Okay? Okay. It's like uh, Michelle. Michelle is, what's your last name, Michelle? Uh, the Last name is the Ramos. Okay, so you are Michelle Ramos. Okay? Okay. Because in English, it doesn't exist. So remember, first name, oh, what's this? First name is Douglas. My middle name is Rodolfo. My last name is Arevalo. My mother's, you see the apostrophe yes? My mother's name is Amaya. Okay? In English, you just use first name and last name. Some people, they have middle name. Algunas personas utilizan el middle name. But not quite common. Pero no todo el mundo. Okay? Most of the people they use in the United States, oh my gosh, look at this mistake. Terrible. In the United States, people use first name and last name. Okay? No questions? Okay, perfect. Now let's see. Uh, Marcos, hello, Marcos. Hello. Tell me, Marcos, what's your middle name? He is a Martinez. Ah. Middle name. In this case, as I am asking exactly and directly to you, different. When you answer, cuando usted contesta, ¿se recuerdan que a César le pregunté por su niña, verdad? Yes. 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 And he told me her name is. Okay. Uh, somebody I asked for the husband and she told me his name is, pero cuando le pregunto a Marcos, Marcos, what's your middle name? Okay, mm -hmm. Lo que en español para nosotros es mi segundo nombre. Marcos, tell me. Oh, it's Ivan. It's Ivan. It is Ivan. Okay? Or it's Ivan. ¿Por 
que me refiero a algo. ¿Ok? ¿Am I clear? ¿Sí nos entendimos o...? Toso. Toso. We were using the possessive. ¿Ok? His name, you told me his name is, her name is, but in this case, I'm asking directly to the person about himself. En este caso, como le pregunto a Marcos acerca de sí mismo, él me dice, ah, en lugar de decirme, mi segundo nombre es, en español, ¿cómo decimos? We just say, es, yes. Juan. Ese es, you have to say it in English, it is. It is Ivan, ¿ok? Always like that. En español nosotros nos comemos los sujetos. You don't do that in English. You say, it is Ivan. En inglés, el sujeto ahí va. En Spanish, we don't use them. We don't always use them. But in English, you do. It is Ivan. Questions up to now? ¿Preguntas hasta este momento? No. Ok, guys. Now, the last activity for today. La última actividad de este día. Ok, ok. Ok, the last activity. We are going to go again to the breakout rooms and we are going to talk about somebody from our family, okay? One of our relatives. One of our relatives. Uno de nuestros familiares, okay? It could be either your mom, your father, your sister, your brother. You are going to introduce that person to your classmate. How? Like this. Listen. My sister's name is Nuria. She is 39 years old. Her husband's name is Jose. Her daughter, her daughter's name is Michelle. You see? Just four sentences, simple. But I use my, her, and I use the possessive, her husband's name, her daughter's name, okay? Do you understand what you're going to do? Entendemos lo que vamos a hacer? Yes. Okay, let's do it. Carlos, you need to hit the join button to get into the breakout room. Carlos, puede presionar el botón de unirse. Primero era el nombre de, de nuestra sister. Somebody oh. from your family. Anybody from your uh, family? Cualquiera. Ah, okay. It could be your husband. Uh, my husband name. Husband's. Husband. Husband's. Husband's. Listen. Name. Husband's. 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 My husband. Husband's name. Vladimir. Is Vladimir. 
It's Vladimir. Uh, my husband. It's Vladimir. Eh, hey, Sofía. Correcto. Sofía. Ah, va. Vamos a ver. Sofía. Es este chiquito. Vamos a ver el otro. My husband, husband name is... Uh, eh, husbands. 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 Os, os, look, look at me. Look at me. Husbands. Husband. Como que fuera una J al Hus inicio. Husbands. Husband. Husband. Ah. Husband. Husband. Entonces, my husband name is sería O Yanira. She is 28 years old. She have a daughter. Her daughter her daughter's name is 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 Mai. Her her is she is she is Three years old. Okay, perfect. She have oh. she have two. She has. She she ha, she has two chicken. Two chicken. <laughs> two chicken. As pets. <laughs> the pets. Pets. Mm -hmm. yeah, cool. <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. <laughs> okay, sister. What about you? Okay. Uh, my daughter's name is Daniela. Uh -huh. She is seven years old. Her middle name is Isabel. Uh, her mother's name is Kenny. Okay, perfect. She is, she is a student. Uh, her puppy's name is Gomita and Shari. Oh, two puppets. Sí, yes. Excellent, thank you. No, el hijo. No, estás hablando de brother, hermano. Son es hijo. Mm, es que por eso te dije. His son name is Gerardo, ah. el hijo de ella. Ah, ok, ok. Oh, her, her son's name is Gerardo. Her, de ella. Remember ah. that. Oh. Her, Her son name is Gerardo. Perfect. Or you can say, he is Esa era mi pregunta. Gerardo. Lo que pasa es que son dos cosas diferentes. Cuando usted dice, Her son's name, el hijo de ella, ah. su de ella. Si se refiere directamente a Gerardo, usted dice, his name his. is Gerardo, su uh -huh. de él. Remember that okay. that's a little bit of tricky for us in Spanish because in Spanish we use the same word for three different situations. O sea que para decir eh, lo que sigue sería his girlfriend, que uh -huh. es la novia de él. Exactly, perfect. Okay. Ah, pues entonces la segunda sería he, his girlfriend, his name, Michelle. His girlfriend's name is, is Michelle. Michelle. Yes. It's like if we are talking about Carla's sons, we say, oh, Carla's son's girlfriend is, y decimos el nombre de la novia del hijo de Carla. But ah, he's, okay. sure. And she goes like, mm -mm, no way. Sería, sería en consecuencia de lo que estamos hablando, de yes. la persona que estamos hablando. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Okay, guys, we're going out. Okay, okay, okay. Time flies when you have fun. El tiempo vuela cuando uno se divierte. 
imagine that I hadn't realized that it's almost time. Time flies when you have fun. In my case, I hadn't realized. In my case, no me había dado cuenta. And I need to take attendance again. Okay. Let's see. Carlos Alberto. Present. Present. Thank you. Mayra Ileana. Present. Thank you. Ana Maria Palacios. Ana Present. Maria, Ana Maria. Oh. Present. Thank you. Michelle. Present. Erika. Erika del Carmen. Present. Thank you. Jennifer. Present. Jose Reinaldo. No. Zero. Oh. Hold on. Claudia Patricia is zero. Andres Alberto. Andres, where's oh there's Andres. Thank you. Cesar. Present. Jenny Lisset. Not here today. Jose Versolis. Either. Vicente Alexander Reyes. Present. Daniel Arturo. Present. Mayra Lisset. Present. Marcos Iván Martinez. Present. Alicia Madeline. Ah, he's out. Maybelline Janira. Present. Oh my gosh. Present. You woke me up. <laughs> Carla Yvonne. Present. Thank you. And Julio Alonso, not here. Okay, guys, it's almost time, but before we go, uh, just one thing. Guys, uh, before we finish, let's make a small review. No, 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 no goodbye, Carla. No goodbye yet. <laughs> Carla was telling me bye. No yet, no yet. Okay, before we finish, let's remember possessives. Remember possessive adjectives. My, your, his, her, its, our, your, their. Okay, remember, I repeat your. Because singular and plural. Okay? Repeat the your porque como singular and also as plural. Right? Now, remember, you can also make an, you can also make a noun as a possessive by adding the apostrophe S at the end. Convertimos también un nombre en posesivo cuando le agregamos el apostrofe S. Okay, remember, the pronunciation of this is a little bit longer than this, but not exaggerated. No exagerada, un poquitito más larga, but not, exa not exaggerated, okay? Like, uh, Michelle's husband's name is, I don't remember, sorry, Michelle. But listen, Michelle's, Michelle's husband's name is, you see, Michelle's husband's Maybe. name is, so I asked the little s, not that long. Remember, the spelling is very important because we use the spelling for when we want to be clear about how to write a name or a last name. Remember, middle name is what we in Spanish call second name. That's middle name. Bear with me. Aguante me un momentito, okay? Bear with me. Something else. Remember, simple present, affirmative, negative. The basic structure, subject, verb, complement, affirmative. Negative, subject, verb, not complement. I am your teacher. I am your teacher. I, subject, am, verb. 
your teacher, complement. Negative, basic structure, subject, verb, not, complement. Okay? I am not your teacher. It's very simple. What am I remembering in this? Because tomorrow we are going to focus on all that. Tomorrow we are going to cover, to wrap up the whole week. El día de mañana vamos a cerrar la semana. We are going to review everything from the week, okay? So, if you are taking notes, be ready tomorrow because we are going to use everything. Si van tomando notas, tenga la lista porque mañana cubrimos todo de nuevo, okay? Thank you guys very much. Have a good night. Take care. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Okay. Good night. Thank you. Good night. 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 Good night.